All of us that are involved with Weekend of the Dead are people that are fans. None of us are company directors, none of us are uh, businessmen. We are literally fans trying to put together a show that would appeal to other fans. And that's the beauty of Weekend of the Dead. And when you arrive, I think you kind of get that feeling immediately. As soon as you walk through the door of that, uh, it may sound corny, it may sound a bit um, cheesy even, but uh, that family vibe. There's a big community on, on, on Facebook that we've got together and it's just such a bunch of like-minded people where you go out and about and I talk about We Killing Dead quite a lot and a lot of my friends are just like, oh, that zombie stuff or whatever. And you go to conventions, other conventions, and everybody's there for their little niche. Whereas you go to Weekend of the Dead and everybody is there because they love Romero films. One of the first things we wanted to achieve when we set out to make Weekend of the Dead was to break down barriers. A lot of conventions feel very sterile. A lot of conventions feel that, you know, it is just a next, next, next for an autograph or a photograph. You know, you can wait in line for half an hour, three quarters of an hour to talk to somebody and it's a hand over money sign and you, that's it, you're off, you're away. Weekend of the Dead has never been like that. It's not a push you to the next person, to the next person. We really wanted the stars to enjoy, the guests that we have uh, enjoy it as much as the fans. And so far we've had that kind of feedback from them saying that, you know, they've really enjoyed it. Tom Savini, for example, came forward and said it was by far the best uh, experience he'd had at a show. Okay, so anyway, this is a fabulous show. I will do it anytime, anywhere, any place again if he will just shut the hell up. This year is obviously the fourth show we've ever done and each year we've evolved. We've got a little bit bigger, you know, first show we ever did was in 2015 at the Fab Cafe, the wonderful. You know, it was a small show, 100 people maximum you could get into the venue. The Fab Cafe were two stars, you know, David and Jim, were absolutely fantastic. And uh, the year after, all of a sudden, we're, we're talking eight guests. And then once again, you know, we, we took it another step in 2017. We took another step. Uh, we stayed at the same venue, but we then made 10 guests. We had the Ladies of the Dead. You know, we had, you know, Judith O'Day from Night of the Living Dead. We had Galen Ross from Dawn of the Dead. Laurie Cardiel from Day of the Dead. And of course, those three ladies together, that was a world exclusive because it's never been done before. So I was, I was really proud to have that. And so here we are today in 2018 and we're heading towards a brand new venue again because we got bigger and we've become better and the team's grown and the lineup of 14 guests, wow. Uh, Howard Sherman is, is coming over this time. Massive, massive star. Um, Day of the Dead, Bob. I mean, he is the iconic zombie. Particularly Day of the Dead was a more modern kind of take going on from Dawn of the Dead. And Bob is the zombie that everybody remembers. I think because we've gone for such an eclectic group of people, I think there's something for everybody. Um, whether you're a Dawn of the Dead fan, Day of the Dead fan, or just like Romero across the board, you've got everything there. Um, you know, we're covering so many of his films. You know, we're covering There's Always Vanilla. Um, we're covering, you know, uh, um, Dawn of the Dead, of course, because of the 40th anniversary. We're covering Night of the Living Dead uh, because of the 50th anniversary. And of course, you know, we're now introducing a new film into uh, Weekend of the Dead, which is Night of the Living Dead remake which was uh, um, directed by Tom Savini. And so we have William Butler from that and we have the wonderful Patricia Tolman uh, to be doing probably one of the first European panels uh, that I can think of um, ever about that film. So I think that's a unique window into uh, the making of that film. And I think it's one of the best remakes out there of any of George's films. Now, Weekend of the Dead has, has brought so many stars over and set records because in Europe we've never had these bunch of people together in one place before. It's the only place we can do that and it's such a nice, friendly, relaxed place to go. You can't help but have fun. You know, if we go back to the Fab Cafe in 2015 and you said to me, someone sat on my shoulder and said, you're going to have 14 guests following on from two other smash hits, I probably wouldn't have believed it. 